Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. It's great to see everybody. It's nice to see your lovely faces. If you guys want to turn on your camera, go right ahead. I was looking at... Um, I'm just kind of looking at the chat and I'm already jealous when I see all the emoji skills that you guys have. My emoji skills are horrible. I was just trying to look myself and see which emoji right now best shows your feelings right now at 8 o'clock this morning, this Thursday. Let me see if I can find one. Here we go. Go ahead and share an emoji. I get to work on my, I hardly ever use emojis. I am emoji illiterate. But you guys rock. You guys see some really cool. I really like the penguin. I like the penguin because I have some computers with Linux and Linux has kind of a mosque, uh, has kind of a symbol uh, of a penguin. So I really like the, the penguin there. Gyra's rocking a, a nice flower. That's cool. Um, all right. Let me tell you guys what's coming up. There's a slight change of plans. There's a slight change of plans. Next week, there are no classes Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I know. I know. Don't be too sad. Don't be too upset about it. Next week, there are no classes Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So, my friends, I was thinking, and that's always a scary thing. I was thinking, we're going to move back one week our performance task that was due next Friday. We're going to move it back one week. And... We're not going to have classes on Monday or Tuesday. Okay, so you're not going to have my class at all next week. Okay, so, um, yeah, party time, right? Okay, so here's what I want to make sure everybody understands. If anybody is missing grades or if anyone needs to make up a grade, Please take this time next week and this week, this week and next week, to catch up. Okay, I really, I, I hate to start the semester first three, four weeks uh, behind, right? So all of you have an opportunity to catch up if you need to. So please take this time this week and next week, because I'm going to be online, I'm going to be working, I've, I've got plenty of things to do, so... Don't worry about me. I'll, I'm going to be working. I'm going to be online. I'm going to be checking my chats. I'm going to be checking my messages. Of course, if, if there's any questions about your grades, just shoot me a, a chat. Okay? We can clarify if you need clarification about any of the technologies. We'll, you'll have an opportunity to do that. I will be checking my, my uh, chat emails and Microsoft Teams. Okay, so next week in my class, okay, d double check with the rest of your teachers. Okay, I know that there are no classes next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That Let me get my calendar up here. Right, so next week, next, um, yeah, the 16th, I suppose, 16th, 17th, and 18th, right? So in my class, listening and speaking, um, on Monday and Tuesday, we won't have class, all right? So again, next week, no classes for us. We'll come back the following week on the 21st of September, okay? And the performance task that we're going to work on today that was due next Friday the 18th is going to be moved back to September 25th, okay? September 25th. 5th. This is the performance test that we're going to be working on today, and we'll have some time when we come back the following week 
to uh, to work on that as well. Okay, so that's that's what's going on next week. All right, for our class. But again, make sure you check with your other teachers to see what their schedules are, what they're planning on doing next Monday and Tuesday. Okay, make sure you check with each teacher to see if you're going to have class next Monday or Tuesday. Okay. All right, so that's next week. This week, today we're going to work on our performance task. We're going to work in our groups. Remember to record all of your conversations. It doesn't matter if there are there are 20 minutes where you guys don't talk, that you're doing something else, but record the whole thing. Record the whole session. Anything that you discuss, we want evidence, right, so that you guys can always go back, and I can also check i can see how you guys are working together because i want to i want to know how you guys are working together i know that sometimes it's easier to work in what's up but i'm going to ask everyone to please when you're online and you're working on your project to work in your respective groups in microsoft teams right if you're going to create a document please create it in microsoft teams in your group and and keep all of your files organized okay and make sure that everything can be found and everything is located in your files under your group right so group one for example they have week three right and they're going to keep everything into week three every anything that they do this week or today for example they can keep it here okay so um, that's basically it. Are there any general questions before we break out into our rooms? Any questions about the performance task? Um, anything, any questions about next week? Yes, me teacher. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Um, the video, we already have it done. Are we going to, like, upload it here in Teams? Or uh, I'm sorry, video for what? Uh, the one that we're going to make for September 5th. Ay, the one okay. about All right, estoy pidiendo a todos. Por favor, este es lo que platicamos ayer. Yo quiero hablar con ustedes. Este, este, este video... Eh, requiere, hay muchas este, cosas que hay que considerar. Es por eso estamos dando dos semanas para hacerlo. Y lo que mencioné ayer es que yo quiero platicar con cada uno de ustedes, cada grupo, antes que hacen este, este video. Sí, porque quiero, hay, tengo un montón de preguntas. Quiero saber quién va a hacer qué y... ¿Y cómo, cómo van a presentar las ideas? ¿Qué tipo de productos, aparte del video, va, van a incluir? Así como, ¿cuál es el problema, la solución? Así como tengo varias preguntas. Sí, entonces, ah, okay. eh, está bien si, si, eh, si, lo, si, si lo hicieron el video, ¿verdad? Está bien, pero voy a pedir que, que practique. Primer, primero vamos a practicar, es de, de hecho hoy mismo espero que tenemos tiempo a, a hablar a cada grupo de, 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 de tu proyecto, de tu video. Y cuando ya está todo listo para, para, sí, para hacerlo, I, quiero que ustedes están pra, practicando. It's like, a, it's like a dance. Some of you are dancers. Some of you are musicians. Right? Dance is a perfect example. You practice, you, it's, you rehearse, right? So you plan on what you're going to do, your steps, right? And what you're going to do, and then you rehearse. And probably the first time you rehearse, it's not great. It's not wonderful. You practice again, and with time, it gets better, right? So the reason, the razón yeah. que estoy dando como dos semanas es que yo, porque yo quiero darles um, tiempo, para hacer un super padre video, una así como muy buena. ¿Sí? Y si están haciendo un video ahorita, está bien, pero 
yo pienso que puede ser mejor haciendo las cosas en clase, practicando conmigo, igual con sus compañeros y practicando, es así como tiempo, ¿sí? es así, es para eh, English, speaking English is a performance, right? I'm performing right now. I'm speaking. I'm trying yeah. to no. make. Yes. Uh, we didn't do any video, or anything. But I was just asking because um, one of my friends was asking me, uh, "Where are we going to post it?" And I was ah. like, "Well, I don't know. Let me ask him." <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Perdón. Yo entendí yeah. estaba mal. Yeah. Yo, yo entendí que ya hicieron su video. Perdón. Discúlpame. No. Está bien. Perdón. <laughs> It's okay. All right. Thank you. Um, so yeah. So the uh, the video. Um, can we talk about where and where we're going to do the video next when we come back next week? Um, I yes. Yeah, I, it's a good question, and I and I'm glad you asked the question. Um, but uh, I would prefer prefiero a dar esta información eh, la próxima semana. Bueno, la semana que cuando regresamos cuando estamos un poco más cerca para terminar. Um, no quiero dar así como toda la información ahorita, precisamente para que no... Bueno, pues este... Yo voy a dar así como mucho tiempo para subirlo, pero creo que ahorita prefiero a hacer como paso por paso, like baby steps. And right now, um, the, the idea is probably I will upload the video. Okay, I, I want to upload the video either publicly or as unlisted, okay? So this is another decision that you guys need to make is do you want the video public, the whole world can see, or do you want it privately or unlisted where no, no one can see it unless they have the link? So if it's public, you guys can publish the video anywhere you would like. I would like to publish it Uh, in my YouTube channel, unless there are any objections. Si alguien no quiere que lo suba ahí, pues está bien. No hay ningún problema. Pero la idea fue a subirlo igual en la misma playlist, donde todos están los videos para esta clase. Este fue la, la, la idea. Pero yo, yo la, la idea fue que yo, yo lo hago eso. Pero luego podemos a practicar okay. eso. Sí, porque ni, también okay. no tengo ningún problema si alguien no está de acuerdo a eso, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, I don't want to get too, too much into that right now. Don't worry about having to upload it. Right now, uh, the video that you create is going to be in your group, all right? It should, you know, when you guys are practicing right now, recording your meeting, that's how you're going to record your, your video. Okay. All right. Thank okay. you. Thank yes. you. Thank you for the question. Sorry for the misunderstanding. All right. Any other questions, guys? No, no, okay. Let's go ahead and get, jump in our groups, guys. Remember, record your meetings. Go ahead and jump into your meetings. And I'm going to try to visit each of your groups just briefly to talk with you, to answer any questions that you have, and just to see how things are going. Okay? So we will come back to class at 9.35, okay? We're going to work all day today in our, uh, in our groups, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. If you guys have questions, of course, just jump in here, ask away. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in your groups. Okay. Okay, teacher. Hola. Good morning. Good morning, guys. You were the first one to join, so I, I jumped right in. <laughs> Come on, how are we doing, guys? Bye. We are doing it well. We Great. have some ideas. All right, tell me some of your ideas. What are you thinking about? Well, uh, yesterday I asked you to I ask you if we can talk about uh, that the, the fact that the people don't, doesn't believe in this 
and you say that we have to choose an, a specific group of people. Mm -hmm. We don't know yet, but I was I was thinking if 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 we can talk about the young people because they are the the ones who who are always in the parties and that things. And other and the other problem that we was thinking, we were perdón. <laughs> Is the it's the depression that this quarantine is is causing, but um, we don't know it right. Okay, some good ideas there. Um, have you guys talked about these topics, uh, Diana? What are your? How do you feel? And Jesus, how do you guys feel? about the 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 problem yes, we, mm -hmm. we have uh, we talk about what topic of the two we are going to choose but we don't know yet okay because i think you want to, to talk about the depression yes. but that's why we don't know yet what of what team we're going to talk certainly the topic of depression is, uh, I mean, that's a big problem, right? So anytime you can find a big problem, you already are, that's a good topic, right? I mean, something that's really, you know, serious. If you can, if you guys can make some suggestions about how, you know, a solution, how to maybe help those who are depressed, right? They're both really good topics, right? Yes. For me, uh, it's really going to be up to you guys uh, between those two because I think both of those are very good topics. But I would select one of those two, right? Choose one of those two topics yes. and um, and always think of it as in terms of a problem versus a, a solution. But, um, yeah, you guys decide on, on what, uh, what you want to do with that. I'm looking at the spreadsheet. In Microsoft Teams, so do make sure that you're completing the the spreadsheet, and make sure that you're you know if you're making decisions and changing your mind, that's fine. Uh, but make sure that you keep the spreadsheet up to date, right? So that we all kind of know what what each group is is thinking about. Um, make sure you guys decide if you want the video to be public or private. Um, when you choose your, your problem, think about a role and an audience, right? So what's going to, what is your role going to be, uh, to address your, your audience, right? And, and the audience is going to depend on the problem, right? So if it's depressed, depression, if that's going to be the topic, well, then maybe it's a, sp a specific group of people who are more, uh, likely to be depressed during this difficult time or or if, if it's just those who ignore uh, COVID and and are just being irresponsible which groups are being caused the biggest problem right and and I think uh, Fernanda you mentioned it right it may be the young younger generation the younger folks can cause a bigger problem there um, have you thought about a team name yet or a slogan or anything? No. Well, no. I think we were we we have to talk about that today. Okay. I would uh, suggest okay, I'll leave you guys alone then. I would um make sure that are you recording this session? Yes, yes you yes. are. Great. Great. Yes. Make sure that, um, you know, you, do you know how to share your screen with each other? Yes. yes. All right. And yeah. I would create like a document, yeah. some sort of either a Word document or OneNote, whatever you want, so that when you guys are talking about your ideas, you're kind of writing them down and uh, you have a kind of a place to add, share your ideas about what you're talking about. All right. Any okay. other questions, guys? No. I think that's all. 
Okay. All right. Well, I'll uh, go ahead and leave then. And if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank All right. You. See you guys. See you in a little bit. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hello, group two. Okay. Hello, group two. Hello, guys. Hello. How are we doing? Hi, teacher. Hello. Tell me uh, about your project, guys. What have you been talking about? What have you decided? Um, I... The topic is uh, problems in the hospital. I am going to talk about the uh, problems in the hospitals. Okay. Problem in the hospital. Uh, what kind of problems in the hospital? Um... Mm. For example, the, the... how do you say desabasto? A shortage. A shortage. Okay, well that's a good. Um, yeah. All right, that's a good. That's a good problem. Um, have you thought about the role or the audience? Who's the target audience for for your video? Uh, public in general. All right. If you can try to think about, because you know, maybe everyone is is can benefit from it. Try to think of the group of people that would benefit the most. Right. Uh, certainly, uh, your topic is going to appeal to a lot of people, but really try to think about who would be the because. You know, a six-year-old, right, is probably not going to be all that interested in your topic. But well, think, the principal audience is the uh, general public and all people. And the other situation is the problem with the supply of materials and available spaces for patients and medicine. All right, I, I want you to continue thinking about Mm, I want you to think about the solution. Maybe you, you haven't decided exactly, or maybe you have, I don't know. But the solution, the solution that you guys are going to share in your video is directly linked to the target audience. For example, if you're going to be talking about suggesting solutions about how to avoid shortages of medical supplies, just as an example then the target audience is not so much old people as it is hospital administrators, right? Hospital administrators, okay. because they would be, they would be, they would benefit the most if you can suggest how to avoid shortages. Now I'm just using that as an example, but I want you guys to discuss and think about the solution and then very specific, a very specific group of people who would directly relate and benefit to the suggestions that you're going to offer in your video. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? And, and yes. maybe you don't have a decision right now. That's fine. But keep talking about it. Keep thinking about it. And as you guys decide, your target audience should be more specific. Your target audience is not going to be the general public. Okay, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be the general public. It needs to be a very specific group of people. Now, of course, in general, everybody could benefit, right? I understand that. But your job in this video is to really create a very specific contextual problem and solution with a specific group of people uh, in mind okay okay uh, um, maybe could be our old people doctors or uh, nurse for example or or not yeah no certainly it, it could but again it it has to go it's it's like it has to go hand in hand with your solution it has to go together with your solution. But yes, your example, uh, Orlando, yes, that, that could be, certainly, right? It could be okay. older doctors or it could be 
the older, even the elderly, right? Just it totally depends on on the solution. But that's the right idea, right? You're narrowing down your group of people, and um, that's what I would suggest that you do at the end of the day when you decide very specifically what is the solution that you want to offer, right? And what what are the benefits? Who's going to benefit the most? If you want to think of it like that, who could benefit the most? By listening to your suggestions and you're uh, talking about a solution, who would benefit the most? Is it older people? Are they doctors? Maybe they're even older doctors who are, you know, traditional and, and, and maybe that's the problem, right? Just as an example, right? So I'm, I'm constantly thinking, all right, what specific group of people would really benefit from hearing what you guys have to say? Okay, that's right. right. Any other, anything else you've been thinking about and talking about? Um. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not. Okay. For you. All right. Well, um, I'll let you go then. Make sure. Are we recording? Are we recording this session? Estamos grabando la sesión? Oh no. Oh no. No. Oops. No. 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 Como evidencia, puedes este, tenerlo para escuchar. And so if somebody wants to go ahead and record, please record everything. When you guys are discussing things, write, write it down. Um, create a document, right? Create evidence with everything that you're doing. Okay, so always keep that in mind when you're working to together uh, in your, your groups. Okay? Any other any questions, guys, about the, the project? No. No? Okay. No. Um, For the moment, no. Uh, 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 yeah, if you guys have any questions, of course, let me know. Uh, Lisette, real quickly, if you want to send me your video that you were having problems with uploading, I created, yeah, a, I, I created a, a folder in Microsoft Teams. It's called Temp, T-E-M-P. Okay, thank just, you, teacher. Yeah, no problem. Send me, um, yeah. just upload any day. videos. If you upload any videos there in that temp folder that you want, and please include in the, the file name which topic in Flipgrid so I know where to upload it. And I'll upload it for you. And when you have time sometime, in fact, maybe next week, if you want to get online, I want to try to figure out if we can... Uh, you know, solve your, your problem. Okay. So you just let me know when you're available. Um, if you want next week, if you have a chance and we can try to figure out, uh, what the problem is, if we can resolve that problem. Okay. Okay. Thanks, okay. All right, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you here a little bit later. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Cargarlo en la computadora. Y pues también deberías de, de hablarle al profe para mm -hmm. que. Él Hello. Diga. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Teacher. Um, <laughs> My teacher. goodness. We're talking about. Hey. We're talking about something. Yes. Yeah. Make sure you guys are talking in English, please. Even if it's uh -huh. just really informal, or whatever. The, the, the thing is, I want you to really try to help each other and remind each other. To speak in English. It's going to be so e easy to speak in Spanish on these informal talks. Okay? okay? So really, I encourage you guys to try to help each other, remind each other. Hey, can you speak in English, please? Okay, tell me about your projects. Your project. Okay. Sorry. Thank you, Tania. You're welcome. I am... Um, this checks... This is... <laughs> Thanks. Okay, teacher. Our project is going to be about the problem of the chances, healthy chances that the people present in the, in the pandemic.
I don't know, a pandemic. So um, we looked for some of those and we found like alimentation transterns, bipolar transterns, panic, uh, anxiety, and I don't know how to say style the animal. Mood. Mood. Depression. Um, mood. Uh -huh. And um, we found them and we're gonna like divide us. Like you're gonna explain two and two and two and okay. to see um, how I'm they Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Um are you guys recording? No. Okay, can someone please I just wanna make sure all your sessions are recorded. Everything when you guys are getting together anytime, it can be in class, outside of class, please record everything. Please record okay, everything. Okay. All right. So let's go back here, uh, Tanya and everybody. Um, so the problem here has to do with like a uh, like like type of depression, or or is it feeling no. excluded? Uh, mm, yeah, it's because about mental health problems. Okay, mental health problems. Okay. Yes. yes. Now, can you have you guys talked about maybe narrowing it down to one type of mental health problem? Or uh, what kind of what kind of examples are you thinking about including in your presentation? It's what I what I said like uh we're not only talk about one we we want like to to talk about the other ones like all the problems that mental problems that you're gonna present of people it's right. suffering. Right. I think what I would encourage you to do is to try. It's always better to talk about to talk more deeply about less things. Okay. All right. So so try to keep that in mind when you're thinking about this topic, right? Because I think what I would suggest not doing is trying to talk about too many different types of mental health conditions only because it's a lot. It could be a lot, right? I mean, um, I would ask yourself, what's the biggest problem? Which of the mental uh, health issues cause the biggest problem for which group of people the problem and the solution directly relate to a it should relate to a very specific group of people so you're not just talking about people who get depressed during the pandemic i want you to think about a specific group of people that suffer <clears throat> from a, a certain type of mental health disease or whatever, however you want to label it. And what's the biggest problem, right? Which, what is going to be the main focus of your presentation, of your, of your talk? And what are the specific solutions that relate to that specific group of people? So it's really just what I'm going to ask you guys to do is talk and think about how you can narrow this down to try to talk about less things but more deeply, right? If we can get okay. more details about less things, you're going to have a better uh, presentation, I feel, right? Instead yes. of just trying to talk about a lot of different things really lightly, try to dig deep into, you know, and think okay. of the question words. Like if you're thinking about, well, what can we talk about? Well, you can talk about what it is, if we're talking about a specific disease, how it happens, why it happens, with whom it happens, where it happens, right? Okay, so more deeply. That's what I would, I would suggest. I think you're going to have a better video, a better product at the end if you can talk more deeply. It'll be more interesting. Right okay. to really hear about the details of the illness and then the details of the solution, the details about the problem, 
in the details about the solution for a specific group of people. So don't think that your audience is the general public. It needs to be a specific group of people. Maybe it's 18 to 22 year olds going to the university. That's going to be your group, your, your focus, for example, right? Or, or maybe it's the elderly, right, in Mexico, and you're limiting, limiting only to Mexicans, the elderly who live in Mexico, for example, right? So when you guys are talking about your project, you're talking about your problem, and you're talking about your solution, I, I would encourage you to be specific, and narrow down your specific group of your audience, your target audience, that link to the solution. Okay, does that, does yes, that make sure. sense? Yes, yeah. yes, I can. Sure. All right, and um, also make sure you guys are upload or yeah, uploading the information to the spreadsheet. I don't see any information there. So it doesn't matter if it changes. If you're still just thinking about certain things, that's fine. Go ahead and, and, and include that information in the spreadsheet. And as you discuss your topic, as you change your mind and you're making changes to your, your video, then you can always go back and update the spreadsheet. Okay? Did you the spreadsheet is like a document where we're going to do in Google Teams? Well, Google Teams, my Google Teams. Uh huh. Do you know? Do you know how to find the Excel spreadsheet? No. Um, yes. I imagine that in okay. here in files we can create one. No, I I actually created it. There's one file for everybody for the whole class. And oh, okay. If you go into files, like you said, in the mm -hmm. general tab, and I think the folder. I'm not looking at it now. I think it's called. Uh, performance tasks? No, there's not any. It's only week two, week one, and there's group before. Uh, check in the uh, general tab I in the general add, channel, add, right? Under files? And uh, the general. And the file? Uh -huh. There's only three do, uh, week two, week one, and there's group four. All right. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and I'll show you where. Where you can find it here. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Yes. All right, so make sure that you're in the general channel. See this right here on the left hand side? So make sure you're in the general channel under files, performance tasks, unit one performance task, and here's the, the uh, Excel spreadsheet. Uh, okay. Okay, so everyone really is uh, working in this one spreadsheet. And for team four, this is where you guys can in include your information, your name, slogan, problem, etc. All the way down okay. here. Okay? Yeah, teacher, I didn't have an idea that we're going to complete that document. <laughs> Right, and uh, it's okay right now, if you guys have, you're still thinking about certain things, that's fine, but just add whatever information that you've talked about so far and um, create any documents that you need within your own group, right? If you want a Word document to share your ideas or OneNote, whatever, you know, whatever works for you guys. Um, but yeah, just try to update here so we can kind of see how everybody's coming together with, with your ideas. Uh, any any other questions or things that you've talked about uh, with regard to your video? Not sure. No, teacher. Any questions? No. All right. Okay, guys. Sounds good. I think you have a really good problem. If you can narrow it down, I think it'll be really good, uh, a really good topic uh, really to build a, a video around. Okay? So if you guys have any other questions, uh, just let me know. Yes, teacher. Thanks. All right. Bye, Thank guys. You. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Hello, group one. Oh, good. Hello, teacher. Hello. How's it going, Hi, guys? T tell me about your um, your your uh, your video, your project. Alonso. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, 
We were thinking about making a video with roles. Like, I, and we were thinking like mm, something, well, one of us is a teacher and the other two a student. And one of the students have problems with the internet in the virtual classes because uh, he lives away from the city and the other student helps to mm, to defend it and to defend her sorry okay i i so like a role play right like you're going to be doing like a little skit or you're acting out i uh, just Yes, that's more or less the idea. Yeah, that's a that's a great idea. I really like yes. that. Yeah, I like that. Um, and if I would suggest that you guys look up maybe doing a satire, if you want to make it funny type of thing, you might you might want to look at that option. Okay, like as a role play, make it kind of. Uh, satirical satirical you would basically be doing the wrong things although you're trying to show that what you're supposed to do you know what I mean uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. but that's a good uh, that's good here I'm looking here at your spreadsheet in Microsoft Teams mm -hmm. and so the the problem here is going to be the problem with online classes right mm -hmm. yeah so I like yes. the topic. Um, what else here? What else have you guys been talking about, or what else have you decided in your in your discussions? Actually, we're now uh, working on the um, the script. I don't know if that's the word uh, for it, the video. So we're um, picking up all the the topics, the 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 characters, all of that. Okay. What I would suggest trying to do uh, with your skit, you know, is to maybe have an outline of what you guys want to say, but try not to memorize exactly word for word everything that you're going to say to keep it kind of fun. And it doesn't matter if you're, if you're making mistakes or whatever, but try to uh, leave room for kind of improvising a little bit so that the language is not like everything is memorized. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. Anything else yeah. here? I'm just looking here at your spreadsheet as well. Um, the process, analyze the situation, look for solutions. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. And you have three members in your team, right? Yeah. Okay. So it should be around 15 or so, 15 minutes more or less. Uh-huh. All right. But the problem here is that, uh, well, Fernando was the, the only one who was speaking. So we have the problem that we are so shy. And we are like, <laughs> uh, well, what, what, what do we have to do? <laughs> ah, well, well, this is actually good. Don't don't be shy. First of all, don't be shy. This is actually good because now you guys can, you'll be forced to lead, take a leadership role, and and run with it. So, but you guys have a really good. I really like your idea. I like the topic of online classes because I think that's a problem for all of us. And I know your audience target audience is for students, mm -hmm. but you might also include something related to teachers, depending on how you want to do it. Okay, it's certainly an option, um, but yeah, I think it's a great topic. Any anything else that you want to talk about, or any questions that that you guys have? Uh, I think no. No, I think. Okay, so what sounds good, guys? Um, I I'm sure you're going to do a great job. Just uh, make sure that. You keep talking about your topic, and um, we'll have some time when we come back the following week to continue working on a project. 
um, as you guys are thinking about how you want to um, to do your project. Now, one thing I will suggest, and this is just a, an option, is part of your video could be the script, the role play, and then part of it could be you talking about the skit, right? It could be like a combination of the skit and then and then some, e either later talking about it or you could have a narrator during the skit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, mm -hmm. it, these are just suggestions, right? I want you guys really to decide on what to do, but um, really think about different ways that you could present the skit, right? Use your imagination, and it really is up to you how you want to, to do this. Just make sure at the end of the, the day that all of you are speaking more or less the same, approximately five minutes. But other than that, you decide how you want to uh, present it and think about the visuals. How do you want your video to look, right? So the, the visual component is also very important. So I'll try to keep that in mind as well. All right, guys. Sounds good. Any other questions? Mm, I don't know. Alondra, Alonso. Mm, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Very good. Yeah. Well, it sounds good, guys. Uh, keep at it. And um, I'll go ahead and leave you guys so you can continue working. And uh, we'll talk here a little bit, uh, a little bit later at the end of the class. Okay? Okay. Thank All right, guys. You. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Hello, Group 11. Hello, teacher. Hello. Tell me, tell me about your, your project. How are how you guys doing? We were writing bad points and good points of... To learning in class, in online class. All right, and I'm looking here at your spreadsheets. And are, are you guys sharing a document? You said you were writing down some points. Are you sharing a Word document, for example, in, my, in, uh, in your group? Yes, um, it's a Word uh, document. Okay. We are writing like, the main ideas. Great. And it's, it's shared in Microsoft Teams? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. It's the right. main ideas. Perfect. Great. Um, all right. So you've got a good problem. Um, have you thought about how you want to present your, um, your video? Like, have you thought about maybe not the details, but just more generally how you want to present it? What else have you talked about? We are going to may, uh, tell like the story times and make like a uh, debate, and then we are mm. going to give like consejos of learning in online classes. That's great. I, I really like the idea of a debate, right? So you're going back and forth. That sounds interesting. Um, all right, I'm still looking here at the spreadsheet. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, and you guys decided to do a public video. That's great. That's great. Just remember, uh, as a public video, uh, not to include any any images, any music, any works of any kind, unless they're under uh, a Creative Commons uh, license. We'll talk about that when we come back more you know, later when, when we come back next, the following week, but, uh, just keep that in mind when you're preparing and you're thinking about how you want to put together your, your video. Um, let's see what else. Yeah. I mean, this sounds good. Any other, any other things that you want to talk about or any other questions that you have about your project?
Uh, I think no. But teacher, how can we uh, say valioso in English? Um, you can say it has value or it's valuable, the adjective valuable, or um, it adds value. You can also say that something adds value. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Anything else, guys? Anything else we need to, to talk about? I like your topic. I like the story aspect, telling a story, and I like the debate. So that sounds interesting. Any other questions? I think we, we're we okay for now. Great. Yes. All yeah. right. Well, I'll leave, leave you guys with it. Uh, we'll meet back up here at the end of the class. And if you guys have any other questions later on, uh, just let me know, okay? Yes, teacher. Thank All you. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank Talk to you later. Yes. Bye. Es que son como unos expertos. <laughs> ah. Hello, guys. Team Hello. 13. Lucky number 13. Hi. Hello. Teacher. Hello. Hi. Tell me about your projects. Your project. Okay. Um, we think in the online classes. Okay. And uh, we don't have already the name of the team because uh, Eli Mesa, the other uh, integrante. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Teammate. Yes, uh, apenas today, <laughs> uh, did she drop the class? Yes, like she only today stay here and, mm -hmm. and yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's only two of you, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to ask to see if I can try to get uh, someone else to join you guys so you can have more than just the two of you. But uh, that's fine. Uh, tell me anything else about your, your project. What are you guys thinking about? We are going to do a video talking about the difficulties and problems from online classes. And which, who's the audience, the target, the specific target audience that you're thinking about? Um, students. All right. Are you thinking about a specific group of students, like a particular university or a specific level? Like what level of students are you thinking about? Um, honestly, we don't know yet. Okay. Well, th keep thinking about the the target audience, and maybe you decide: is it are they going to be younger students? Are they going to be older students? But I would try to choose one or the other. Try to choose uh, a specific group of students. Maybe it's students at the uh, the autonomous, for example. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just think about maybe a specific type of audience, target audience for your video um yeah. i like the topic of online learning that's great um the problem obviously of difficulties of online learning have you thought or discussed with each other how you want to present your video mm. how yeah mm. have you thought about have you discussed with each other how you could present your video, like, like, what would it look like, or how would you go about doing it? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Um, enroll. What is what do we have to put? All right. So think yeah. of the role that you, your team, Team Thirteen, right? Do you have a name? I don't have a name yet, all right? So 
what role are you going to play? So let's say, for example, that you are going to suggest or give solutions Solution. to how a student can be successful learning online. So maybe the role that you play is going to be one that maybe it's a uh, maybe it's a committee at a university, right? Maybe you're you're just pretend that you are in charge of helping new students come into the university and learn online. So you work for the university, right? And maybe you're a committee. Maybe you are in charge of, uh, you know, of trying to help new students. So that would be your role. The target audience would be new students coming into the university. So think of the role and the audience as um, they're two sides of the of the context that you're talking about. Okay, so you, know, you could be that would that would be the role here, and you don't have to do a role play. You could do a role play. You know, when you guys do role plays, there is you're you're assuming a role, and there's an audience. If you're playing like a doctor and you have a patient and you're doing a role play, right? That would be each one of you is taking on a role. Okay. Thank you. So that's the idea. So think of like you as a team, team 13. Okay. Who are you right for in this video, in this tutorial? All right. Mm, and, and that's okay. going to be the role that you're going to assume for, for this performance. Okay, thank okay. you, Benjamin. All right, sure. you're welcome. Any other questions, guys, or anything else that you want to share that you've talked about for your project? Mm -hmm. um, I don't have time. No? Okay. Uh, I'm going to check really quickly here to see if I can get a volunteer to join you guys yep. so that you have three members. Uh, sure. Yes. Es que eh, Eli sí entró hoy, pero se salió. Pero apenas hoy entró. No sé si vaya a seguir. Ah, ok. Pero si te, te dijo que, que va a seguir con la clase o... Es que no me dijo nada más se salió, pero me dijo que estaba muy atrasada en tareas. Y de hecho apenas hoy le expliqué todo ah, lo que... Ah, ok. Iba a bueno, entonces si quieren, pues lo, lo dejamos así. Uh, igual voy a mandar un mensaje y si ustedes saben, si, si no van a regresar a la clase, ¿verdad? Pues si me dicen para tratar a uh, incluir otra persona, porque sí sería bueno tener mínimo tres participantes en cada equipo, ¿no? Esa es la idea. Entonces nada más me dicen um, y, y igual... Es muy importante que ustedes están trabajando juntos, que, que todos están participando. Si, si, si hay no, alguien no está participando, me, me dicen para que tratar de apoyarles que todos están participando, porque es difícil, ¿verdad? Si están este, trabajando así de esta manera, si todos no están participando, ¿no? Entonces, nada más me dicen este, si saben algo de su situación, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. All right. So I'll leave it like that, and uh, we'll talk here at the end of class uh, to close uh, today's class. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank we'll talk you. to you here in a few minutes. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello, Team Twelve. How are we Hello. doing? Hello. We are thinking about our slogan. Hello. Your slogan. All right. Yes, we are thinking about that. What do you th have you thought about any suggestions? It looks like your your name is Sunshine, right? Yes. All right, yes. Sunshine. Yes. Yes. Well, tell me about the problem, or what have you guys been talking about? Uh, what have you decided so far? Well, we wanted to talk about the. Um, well, the our problem is that the things that we stop doing in our daily life, like maybe um, see our friends or, or just doing the normal or 
the things that we thought that were normal, but now we can do. And we are in quarantine only in our homes. And just we wanted to to share with others things that they can do to spend their time. The different recreational activities that they can yes. do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you decided as a team how many things that you want to include in your presentation? Like how many different things are you going to do you want to include? No. Different uh, things like what? Yeah, so I'm looking at the spreadsheet for you guys and where it says problem and it says the things we stop doing in our daily lives right so my question is yeah. have you decided on how many things that you want to to include oh yeah well i we thought that the things could be um go to school and see our friends or maybe like going out to play soccer or that stops Okay. What, what, um, the reason I'm asking is because one of the suggestions that I think I would make for you guys especially is um, it's always better to say more about less. That is, it's always mm -hmm. better to talk about one thing or a few things but talk deeply about those things. So, okay. for example, if you could decide on one thing that uh, a certain group of people can't do now that they could do before COVID-19, that is going to that you're going to get a better video out of that because you're going to mm -hmm. talk more deeply about that one thing. Now, think about the problem. Think, what is the biggest problem? What's the one thing that this specific group of people now, that we're not talking about everybody. We're not talking about old people and kids and, and students and workers. No, we're choose one specific group of people. Choose one specific thing that that specific group of people cannot do now that they could do before and what's the and what's the biggest problem there right if you can do that then you can say you can talk about the what the how the why the when the where about that thing that they can't do now that they could do before uh, okay. does that make sense yes okay. right so here's sure. here's yes go ahead Sorry, um, I have a question about the role. What it means? I don't, I don't understand the difference. Okay. Um, with the role. All right. So, the things that we're talking about now, right? When you decide on a one specific thing for one specific person, then your video. You guys, you as a team, as Team 12, Sunshine Team, right? You guys are going to assume a role. You're going to pretend that you are either on a committee, you are the director of a school, you are whatever mm -hmm. the position is, okay? You are creating a video, a tutorial, right, of the benefits of trying to, to offer a solution to this problem of things or one thing that this group of people can't do now. You want to offer a solution. So the role is going to depend on the problem that you define, right? The role is going to depend on the target audience. So right now, Probably the role is not clear because we don't have a really clear problem and maybe because we don't know exactly the target audience. When you know the target audience and you know the specific problem, then think, okay, 
what role do we, Team 12, Sunshine Team, what do we want to assume? Who are we? And to whom are we speaking? And your mm -hmm. role is going to be directly related to your target audience. To whom are you speaking? Okay, does that mm -hmm. make sense? Yes, thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. Any other questions or anything else you want to share that you've talked about that you've that you want to uh, share with me today? Um, no. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm just looking here at the spreadsheet. You've got a good start there. If you guys change your mind, if you are making decisions and and mod and changing some of your ideas, that's fine. Please continue to update the spreadsheet so everything is current. Everything is up to date. All right. Okay. And of course, if you guys have yes, questions, okay. yeah, let me let me know, and uh, I'll go ahead and leave you guys, and we'll talk here at the end of the class to to close the class. Alrighty. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. And we must come on. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Somebody was speaking Spanish. No. No, it wasn't me. All Nobody right. was speaking Spanish. You, no, of course you don't not. hear well. I know. I got to clear, clean out my dirty ears. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Tell me, guys, how, how are we doing? What are you guys thinking well, about? We, we were, I don't know if the girls tell you when I was not um, yesterday or no, yesterday, no, was Tuesday. Um, we were thinking about doing a, like a conference between the countries, like president of the countries and talk about the, the tourism. I don't know how to, how to pronounce that. Turismo. Uh, tourism. Uh, tourism. Mm -hmm. Tourism. 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 And like discuss that how it affects in every country. And now we were talking about who was, like, talk about what country. And we, we have it like this. Um, Ellie is going to talk about Italy, Stefana about Canada, and me, about Mexico, like the president of each one. Okay, so you're you're going to assume the role as as president, like each one of yeah. you is president of your each of your countries. Is that right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that. Yeah. All right, I like that idea. Now, my question I have for you guys, Team Six Supergirls. I like the name. That's cool. Supergirls, <laughs> uh, what? Why did you choose those three countries? Mm. Well, I was. We were investigating about like the ten most. Um, I don't know. I don't remember. Let me see. Okay. Um, most competitive for. I how do you say tourism? Tourism. 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 Mm -hmm. The most competitive with tourism. Tourism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and tourism. Yes. There were a lot, and they two choose one of them of that ten, and I choose Mexico because I know that Mexico is like another country that I don't know if it like totally depends about tourism mm -hmm. okay <laughs> but I know that like for example Aguascalientes have a lot of tourism in the feria <laughs> okay and another like magic places we say in Mexico <laughs> that mm -hmm. have a lot of that too so I decided to talk about 
Mexico. I don't know if the other girls want to tell you why they choose Italy and why they choose Canada. If you want to, uh, ladies, that's fine. Or if you've thought about why you chose those countries. Well, I choose Italy because, well, I guess it's one of the most um, that have tourism in on the year. Or um, I don't know. I like Italy. I just choose it like that. Okay, alrighty, that's fine. Uh, Stefana, do you have anything to share? What? Do you have any anything else to share, like why you chose... Uh, which country did you choose? Uh, Stefana, do you, can you hear me? I'm not sure if you can hear me. Which country? Sometimes, sometimes she has problems with... Um, microphone uh, okay all right so that's fine i was just <clears throat> i want you to think about when you <clears throat> excuse me when you guys are uh putting your video together putting your ideas together try your best to compare and contrast the three different countries throughout your presentation try also to think about the role that you that your team is going to play. So you're choosing these three countries, and that's fine. You're choosing it because uh, it's of interest to you or maybe there's some other information about tourism that relates, right? Um, I'm sorry, are we recording? Are no. We re Okay, please record all sessions. I it's very important. Every conversation... Every time you guys get together, please record all the sessions. If someone wants to go ahead and hit record. Um, no, it, like we record the part that we were talking about, what countries we are going, we were going to choose. But then I, I decided like to stop it and just talk about another thing that is nothing like relacionado with that. Oh, okay, but, okay. pero está relacionado a, al proyecto, ¿no? O... Mm, es que hablamos al principio de eso, o sea, de proyecto, de qué vamos a hacer y todo. Mm, y después de eso decidimos parar la grabación para hablar de o sea, cualquier otra cosa en lo que terminaba hasta aquí, hasta las nueve y media. Solo llevábamos como media hora, bueno... A bueno, las nueve terminamos casi, casi de grabar. Bueno, mi, mi sugerencia, para ser más fácil, grabar todo. No importa Aunque si hablamos, estás hablando es del proceso, no importa cualquier... Si está... Pues sí, la idea es que, que todo está relacionado al proyecto, ¿no? Pero Y no importa si hay lapsos de tiempo sin nada, no importa. Nada más porque, ah. que, por ejemplo, ahorita todo lo que hemos practicado no está grabado. Y eso es, pues, that's a shame, right? Because quiero que todos, todo lo que estamos hablando, diciendo, está grabado. Y para que igual cada uno de ustedes siempre pueden regresar y ver qué, qué practicaron, qué decidieron, así como si es necesario. Si no es necesario, está bien, pero es mejor tener la grabación y no necesito de viceversa, ¿verdad? So... Just try to get in the habit. Go ahead and hit record so we, our discussions also are recorded, that you have it. But it's really important to try to have recordings and also um, your documents all in your, your group space. Okay? Okay. All right. Can somebody hit record? Me. Okay. So just try to get, just go, when you guys get together, anytime you get together, just hit record and let it run. It's fine. Just remember when you finish to download it and then upload it to files under the folder, right? So that you can always go back to it. One question. Yes. This is week three, right? Yes. Because I don't know, or I, I won't, I don't check. Because I'm not like downloading the videos, 
the persons that are downloading it is the is Ellie and Stefana. So I don't know if we have a file that say week three or I don't know. Yeah, I have it. I already renamed it. Okay. It's three and four. Okay. Yeah, you guys work it out. You decide it only takes one person to download and, and upload it. So either take turns or it doesn't matter. But you decide as a team who's going to be responsible for downloading and uploading. It, it's fairly quick. Um, if you have, you know, I would probably choose somebody who has a fairly quick connection just so that it doesn't take a lot of time. Somebody who feels comfortable and who's willing to do it. But no, you work like, yeah. right, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, the first video that we record, um, I cannot download it because me parecía error. Ah, okay. Ellie, and can I you? Think that... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no. I don't. Ellie, were you able to download the the yeah, video? Yeah, video of the eight. Yeah, uh, the one of yesterday. I think the one of download. Yeah, well, today, in the video, I got it now in the, in the folder. Okay, well, just try your best, guys, to keep the recordings. And, and if you guys are, as a team, or if no one is able to do it, uh, just let me know, and I'll, I'll try to, to help you out, okay? If, if no one is able to download the video and upload it. But just try to work it out, communicate with each other about who's going to do what, and... Just try to everybody participate equally, right? So that not one person is always doing all the all the work, right? So just work it out. All right. So yeah. So tourism. So make sure that that your presentation um, has a that you guys are assuming a role. Like who? What is the purpose? What's the problem? And what is the solution? And try to tie compare and contrast the three countries that you chose try to find some commonalities try to find some differences and decide on who's going to talk about the similarities and differences for each of your of your countries okay try to keep that in mind try to always tie in your discussion for your country in terms of also the other two countries that your teammates are also going to discuss. Okay, does that make sense? Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, it's like a, think of it like a compare and contrast, right? And you have three countries and think about, do you know the Venn diagram? Are you familiar with the Venn diagram? Nope. Yeah. Yes. Tiene como dos círculos and they have common they have commonalities and differences. Pero oh, con tres, también puedes meter los tres círculos para tener algo en común para de los tres. Y también, right? Um, I don't think, I'll show you, if you guys can find, um, here, let me let me check here. Ellie, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. All right, so maybe you guys can talk about Maybe starting off with a Venn diagram, and uh, I would do this here. Let me just share my screen here real quick. I know you guys probably have seen this before, right? But do you see this on my screen? Uh, Can, now I know. Right? Yeah. I know what, what so is, if, you guys what is, if you guys complete, since you have three countries, A, B, and C, you can do this. To say, okay, what are the similarities and differences of each of the three countries? And this could be the basis for your your discussion, right? Okay. All right. But I, th Thank I like you. your topic. And I think it's going to be interesting. Um, do you guys have anything else you want to share or any, que any other questions about your project? Well, I was thinking about, like... Like the possibility in the real life about Canada talking with Italy and Mexico. 
like I was thinking about that. So that's all. <laughs> no, and you guys keep talking about it. Think about how you want to present. You know, maybe you want to do kind of a role play. Maybe you want to do kind of a United Nations ish type of situation where you're talking about tourism. You're together. What? How would you present it? And so on. I don't know. It just depends on how you want to do it. But talk to each other. Figure it out how you want to work it. Work it. And uh, when we come back the following week, we won't have class next week. But when we come back the following week, we'll be working. We'll have another week to work, and and you guys will be able to discuss it further. You know how you want to present it. All right. Any other questions, guys? Um, nope. All right. Well, I'll uh, leave you alone here, and uh, we'll be back in about 10 minutes to close uh, the class. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. We'll talk to you later. See you, teacher. Bye. Cuando volví a pedir informes, dijeron que la carrera ya no estaba. Hello. Hi, Hi. Somebody Hi. speaking Spanish. How are we doing, guys? Tell Thanks. me about your project. Um, so we have a little part from the introduction. If you want to see the work on what at the work on document. Okay. Uh, can you, as I open up the the word document, can you tell me about the problem and? And any other things that you've talked about so far? So, do you see it? Do you see the Word document? Uh, where did you upload it? Where did you upload the Word document? On week three, uh, team fight. I don't see it. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Here, it's a video. It's called video. Okay. <laughs> yes. I looked at the. I was like, "Oh, that's a video." Oh no, it's a word document. Okay, got it. Okay. Yes, I'm looking at the document. Anybody want to share with me what you've talked about? What you've decided? We have only that document. All right, tell me about it. So in the video, we were talking about the advantages. I don't know how to pronounce. And these advantages and the steps or suggests for a get good relation from online classes. So the problem is the difficulties, the difficulties from adults, young students, and students from OA from online classes. All right, and you guys are thinking about doing a role play, is that correct? So I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what, what we have to put on role. Um, role. Uh -huh. what is it okay, but um, are you think, are you thinking about doing a, a role play? Do you know what a role play is? No. Okay, a role play is like you're acting. So you're you're basically each one of you is assuming a role and you're you're pretending to be different and you're talking to each other. It look it looks like you're thinking about doing a role play. Is that is that correct? Am I correct? Okay. Um. All right. It looks like here you have Daira is going to be hello everybody. This and saying, oh, all okay. right, all right. So, okay, a couple of things. Um, I want you guys to think about first the problem here that you are trying to solve. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So what? problem tell me again please tell me again the problem that you want to solve and who is the target audience like which specific group of people 
are affected the most by this problem? What do you think? What's the problem? The specific problem? That for the coronavirus, we have uh, online classes. All right. And which specific group of people do you want to focus on? Because right now, all students are affected. But you can't talk about all students. We need to speci be specific, think about a very specific group of students. So which group of students do you want to focus on? Have you talked about it? For example, um, students at UA. Okay. That, that could be, that, that would be a good choice, right? But you need to decide as a team which specific group of students do you want to focus on, okay? So the problem is online learning, your target audience is going to be UAA students, okay? okay. Now, the role that you guys are going to take as Team 5 Okay, the role okay. that you're going to assume could be, for example, let's say a committee. A you, you work for the university. You work on a committee that is responsible for helping new students or any students help them with the problems of learning online. Right? So think of the role, your role as Team 5 Right. Pretend that you work for the university, that you're responsible for helping students adapt to learning online. All right? That's, okay. that's the role. Now, before you start writing out who's going to say what, right? Think about, forget about who's going to do what. Think about as a team, as a group, what do you want to include in your video? What do you want to say, All right? Um, what's the solution? You're going to probably talk about maybe the problem or maybe you just talk about the solution only or, you know, you have to decide as a team more generally what are you trying to include in the video, okay? Have you talked about that, guys. Have you talked about what you want to include yet in the video? Yes. For example, um, I'm going to do the introduction. So I'm going to say name of, of members, the team. Um, I'm going to start to talk about the program, um, how I feel with the online classes. All right. Um, That's okay. All right. I would suggest, all right, I, I okay. would think if you're going to choose university students, I want you to pretend that you, all three of you, as a team, you work for the university. All right. So you've, the problem is online learning. So now your job in this video is to offer a solution. The solution needs to stick to what suggestions that you can make to help students. So I would suggest not thinking about the first person, I, me, or you, right? Just talk about you're talking to the students and you're going to offer a solution to help them. And you decide as a team how you want to break down, describe this solution. Think of the question words. What is the solution? How does the solution work? When does the solution work? To whom does the solution work? Does it matter if it's based on a, a certain major? Right? So think about maybe focusing more on the solution than the problem in your presentation because I think the problem is going to be okay. kind of obvious, right? So think about how you as a team can present the solution for, for this problem. Okay. Bef before okay. you decide the details about who's going to say what, think, all right, how do we want to break down our 
15 minute presentation. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, I will go ahead and leave it there, guys. Keep talking about it. Keep working. I like how you're creating a document, a shared document. Make sure, are we recording this uh, live session? No. So make sure that all of your sessions are recorded. So right now we we don't have this recording. Grabamos otra sesión, pero es que la terminamos. Ah, okay, pero si están adentro, graba todo. Okay. Graba todo. No okay. importa si hay lapsos de tiempo, si no están diciendo nada. Pero hablen en inglés, entre ellos, estaban hablando de español, por favor. This is, sure. is it, right. This is how we, we learn is helping each other, encouraging each other to speak in English, even when I'm not here, right? So try to remind yourselves to try to speak in English. All right. Um, let's go ahead and close out here. If you guys have any other questions, make sure that you uh, send me a, a chat message. And uh, I like your topic. It sounds sounds good. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys. Hopefully everybody's coming back here as we close today's session. I'm going to take the attendance right now. Remember that I'm taking attendance each day during these live sessions. All right, so make sure that you are attending class every day. Right? Make sure that um, that you're coming in every day so that you get credit for the for having been here and make sure you're checking your attendance. If you have questions about how many days you've missed, you can check your attendance in Teacher Ease. Make sure that you're able to get into Teacher Ease. If anyone needs another invitation to get into Teacher Ease, let me know. And I'll send you another invite. I'll send you another email to your Microsoft 365 account where the first time that you go into Teacher Ease, it'll ask you for a password. So you'll have to provide a password of your choice. Okay, so any issues, any problems getting into Teacher Ease, please check. As I mentioned at the beginning of the class, we're not going to have class next week. Make sure you're checking with your other teachers to see what their schedules are for next Monday and Tuesday. All of us will not have class on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. Today, as I was talking with many of you, in fact, I didn't get a chance to talk to all the groups. I will continue uh, reaching out to you guys to offer some solutions, um, to offer some suggestions, hopefully. And But make sure, guys, that you're encouraging each other to speak in English. This is where the learning takes place. It's not me talking all the time and you listening to me. That's not where, that's not where you're learning English. You're learning English speaking when you're speaking with your classmates in these small groups. I really want to provide opportunities for you to work in small groups precisely for that reason, to give you practice, to give you opportunities to practice. That's all I can do. All I can do is give you opportunities. If you're speaking in Spanish, I, I entered into about three or four groups today, and they were speaking Spanish. And I was surprised. I said, why? Why are they speaking Spanish? This is a listening and speaking class for English. Right, So I know it's strange, especially talking with your classmates. Maybe we're so used to speaking in Spanish. But if you're listening to one of your classmates speak in Spanish, say very nicely, very respectfully, hey, try to speak in English. You speak really well. Compliment each other and how well they speak in English. And encourage each other. Because otherwise... This these these small group sessions, right? They're not they're not going to be as helpful for you, right? The only way to speak to learn to be a better speaker, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a a secret here. The only way to improve speaking in English is guess what? Speaking 
in English. It's not complicated, but I can't force you. I'm not there, right? You might say, oh, he's not here. Pues, no importa, voy a hablar en español, más fácil. Yeah, pero la, la, la. boom, you're done. But you're not helping yourself and you're not helping your classmates. So please, my friends, my dear friends, please, I encourage you to encourage each other to speak in English, even when I'm not there. Please speak in English, all right? Uh, the projects that I'm hearing sound really interesting. I think they're coming together nicely. As a reminder, please make sure that you update your spreadsheet in Microsoft Teams, okay? If you change your mind, that's fine as a team, but always go back and update the spreadsheet. Finally, all sessions in your group, record them. I need evidence. Si ustedes no graben sus, com su sus conversaciones, es como si no, no lo hicieron. Cuando yo entro y no veo ninguna grabación, pues este es decir, pues no hicieron nada. Tal vez están hablando, trabajando así bien duro, hablando mucho, pero sin una grabación, es como si no, no, no lo hicieron. So just, just get in the habit. When you start a session, record. Punto. Record everything. I don't care if there's 20 minutes where you don't say anything. That's fine. Record it. Don't worry about turning on and off the recording. No. Cuando entran, hay que grabarlo. Cuando terminen, yeah, that's it. Turn it off. Record everything. Record everything. Some of you are sharing documents. Great. Continue to do that. Share documents uh, amongst the, the team members where you're all contributing to the same document in your space, in your team space. Great. Do that. Continue to do that. A Word document, uh, Excel spreadsheet, whatever. All right. Last thing I'll say. Tomorrow we're, we'll have class. We're going to have our last listening session. This first week, I'm giving credit to anyone who is making an effort for this listening. We had three listenings, one on Monday, one on Wednesday, and we're going to have a third listening practice tomorrow. So this is practice. This is practice that we need, and I'm going to share with you the results of your three scores, those of you who took the, uh, the, the three quizzes. But I'm giving participation points for making an effort. So do not worry about the grade. Please do not worry about the grade at this point. The point that I want to make this first week is that you have practiced three times, hopefully three times, uh, doing this. But if some of you have not entered and not completed any of the quizzes, it's very important that you be here tomorrow. If, if you haven't taken any of these quizzes, it's very important that you're here tomorrow. Otherwise, you'll get a zero for the, uh, for the quiz. All right? So make sure, just like as always, tomorrow we'll start the class at 8 o'clock and we'll begin the audio. I will also provide the audio like I did on Wednesday. If anyone wants to download the audio first, if it's easier, if it works out better, you can do that. At 8 o'clock, we'll have 15 minutes for you to download the, uh, the uh, audio to your computer, and you can listen to the audio on your computer and take the quiz that way. I will continue, of course, as always, uh, sharing the audio online. All right, guys, we'll stop there for today. Um, any questions, uh, general questions to uh, conclude today's class? Yes, me. Yes, go ahead. So the quizzes are going to have a grade or not? They're going to have a grade. They're going to have a participation grade. Yes, you're going to receive 10 points for having completed at least one of the sessions. Oh, okay. But I mean, um, because in my case, uh, it was so bad. So I want to know if that is going to affect something or something. 
Uh, I'm giving a participation grade. So this first week, this week, I'm not always going to do this, but this week, if you took the exam, you're going to get full credit. Don't worry about the grade. Okay. And I also want to ask you about it. For example, I'm seeing that I'm so bad, maybe, at listening comprehension and do you think i'm gonna get better or do you think this is like not good for me to be here <laughs> <laughs> okay all right look guys here's the thing no one in this class everyone in this let me put it another way everyone in this class should be here if you want to be here if this is interesting to you if you like this major if you want to be a teacher everyone that's in my class needs to be here, should be here. Now, the problem is, is if you're not willing to do what you need to do. For example, if some of you need to listen to the recordings, like here, ese es un ejemplo muy, muy típico. A veces, siempre como ustedes, ya me conocen un poco, Estoy siempre ofreciendo que ustedes pueden mandarme mensajes, cualquier cosa, siempre. Ok. Pero hay casos, si un alumno no viene en la clase, y si no viene en la clase, no ven las grabaciones, porque todo, casi todas las, este, las clases, lo que estamos haciendo, hay una grabación, ¿verdad? Hay un video de lo que hicimos, lo, lo que practicamos, lo que yo expliqué a todos. Si esta misma persona no ve el video, falta en clase, no ve, ve el video y me mandan mensajes, este es diferente de una persona que está participando, está checando las grabaciones y después todo eso todavía tiene preguntas. Este es diferente. Espero, yo pienso que ustedes puede, pueden distinguir la diferencia entre los dos escenarios. Pero todos aquí pueden mejorar. Ese es, ese es obvio. Sí que si sí, practican, si sí participan, si sí, sí, sí hay, si sí estás preguntando cuando no tienen, no tienen dudas. Cada uno de ustedes es diferente. Hay algunos de ustedes que no, no van a necesitar nada de los de, de, de videos. Porque entienden todo lo que estamos haciendo. Qué bueno, está bien, perfecto. Hay otras que tienen que pasar mucho tiempo con las, los videos porque tal vez no, entendí, no entienden bien lo que estamos haciendo en clase. Entonces, cada uno de ustedes tiene que uh, aprender cómo, qué necesito, qué tengo que hacer para entender, para participar, para aprender lo que estamos haciendo. Entonces, esa es la clave que ustedes pueden saben qué tienen que hacer para entender lo que estamos haciendo. Pero todos, everybody here should be here, right? There's no one here that shouldn't be here if you're willing to do the work. Tu pregunta es una es un buena pregunta, Monse. It's like, do I, do I belong here? Pues la pregunta no es a mí. Yo puedo decir todos, y estoy hablando honestamente, que todos deberían estar aquí. Siempre y cuando que están hechas ganas, están haciendo lo que tienen que hacer. Si no saben, si no está claro lo que tienen que hacer, puedo apoyarte en eso. Podríamos practicar uno a uno y ver, ok, qué problemas tienes. Puedo dar sugerencias de que, que tal vez hay que checar más de los videos o, o no sé, participa en una manera diferente. Tal vez llegue a clase a tiempo, <coughs> tal vez, ¿verdad? No sé, todo depende, cada uno es diferente. Pero everybody should be here. I don't want anyone to think, oh, I don't think my level, my English level is high enough, right? I'm going to share with you this week, at the end of the week, your results. Your three results, those of you who took your results. Don't worry about the results at this point. This is just to, it's feedback. It's, it's como información para que ustedes vean más o menos como andan ahorita. Pero claro, siempre, va a ser más fácil. 
en el principio siempre es difícil tal vez aprender o entender lo que estoy diciendo porque no están acostumbrados tal vez a entender la forma que estoy hablando en inglés. Pero con tiempo, con práctica, va a ser más fácil, te juro. Así es. Mire, yo tengo, voy a hablar un poco. Si ustedes quieren salir, está bien. Pero quiero dar una historia muy importante. Que hubo un caso, hay un montón de casos de este, pero estoy pensando en un, una alumna que yo tenía en Prope. Pero un nivel muy básico, muy, muy básico. Casi no habló nada del principio. Y salió de la carrera hasta está haciendo conferencias, hasta yo fui a sus prácticas dando así como información de lo que estaba diciendo, hablando súper bien, así muy fluido y todo. Pero, y ella no fue así como tan especial, fue así normal, porque ella estaba trabajando todo su, durante los cuatro o cinco años, trabajando siempre mejorando porque tenía ganas, tienen la actitud que quiere aprender, quiere mejorar. Entonces, eso es lo que ustedes tienen que tener, la actitud. La actitud es más importante de todo. Si ustedes dicen, no, pues voy a entenderlo, voy a echarle ganas. Este, ahorita tal vez tengo algunas cosas que no puedo hacer, pero voy a aprender y va a ser más fácil, te juro. Va a ser más fácil de practicar y aprender a todos. All right, so I don't want you guys to get stressed. Ahorita es por eso no estoy dando tanto de, pues, de las calificaciones. Si están participando ahorita, estoy dando todo el crédito para, para las, las tareas, lo que estamos haciendo. Porque no quiero pensar tanto en la, cal, en la calificación. Quiero que estás enfocando más en las estrategias, tus rutinas, sus hábitos, lo que, que tiene que ser cada día, ¿verdad? En, para mejorar. Esta semana también vamos a hacer un uh, podcast, our second episode. Sigues con, uh, vamos a seguir con eso en esta semana. Cada semana, con la excepción de la próxima semana, la próxima semana no. Pero bueno, la idea aquí es que ustedes sigan adelante trabajando. Si tengan dudas, problemas con tecnología, que está preguntando, como creo que pues, hay muchos de ustedes que están haciéndolo, que, que bueno. Pero que no estrese tanto. Tratan de aceptar el nivel que tienes ahorita, pero con la idea es que mañana va a ser mejor. Sí, siempre está trabajando hace eso. Es por eso en estos grupos, cuando ustedes están hablando en español... We're missing an opportunity. Es una oportunidad, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya yeah pasó. Ya yeah, no funcionó. Y qué lástima, la verdad. Qué lástima. No importa quién soy yo como maestro de ustedes. Si, si ustedes no tienen ganas, si no están apoyando entre ustedes, encouraging each other to speak in English, pues... No van a funcionar, no van a mejorar. Entonces, todo depende de ustedes. Casi todo. Right? Estoy tratando de crear oportunidades para ustedes. Es todo lo que puedo hacer. No puedo hacer más. Es depen right. Depende de ustedes si quieren tomar esta oportunidad o no. Es muy simple. Que sí o no. Voy a hablar en inglés o español. Mi maestro no está aquí. Nunca va a saber porque no estoy grabando, entonces, ok, pues voy a hablar en, en, español, en español. Ok, este no me afecta. En el sentido de, ok, pues you're speaking in Spanish, you're only affecting yourself, right? Este afecta nada más ustedes. So, my, my friends, I'm trying, what I'm trying to say is, I want to create a good environment for you to take chances, right? Don't stress. Try to keep working. Have a good attitude about your own learning, and you will go far. You will do very well because I've seen it. I see it every year. I see it 
I've, tengo 15 años como maestro de aquí y yo lo veo así muy simple. Los chavos que tienen una buena actitud, no importa de su nivel, está hecho, hecho le ganas tra, tra, trabajando y se mejora así como demasiado, mucho. Entonces, eso es lo normal, no es así muy especial, no, es, es como es. Porque eso es lo que requiere uno a, a aprender, es nada más hacerlo. All right? So that's my soapbox, this is, me. this is my lecture. I want to try to motivate you guys. I really want to motivate you guys. Are you guys, this is an excellent group. Your stories, the way you guys are speaking, sharing your stories... It's wonderful. I really enjoy them. And I hope you guys are enjoying each other's stories because they're great. And I want you to continue with this attitude of taking chances and participating and helping each other, helping each other. All right? Yes. Okay, guys, look, I'm going to stop there tomorrow. Uh, eight o'clock, we'll start. We'll have 15 minutes to just kind of get ready. Talk about a few things before we start at 8.15 uh, for, our, uh, for, our listening, uh, our, for our listening quiz, okay? Okay. okay. All right, guys. Okay, we'll stop there. there. Enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Have a nice day, teacher. Thank you. You too.